Hey everyone, welcome and thanks for tuning in to this week's project. This week I have a piece of uh, silver maple that I got online at Craft Supplies USA. And it's 2 by 10 by 10 And I'm going to be turning it and using some resin to highlight the rim. So stick around and see how it turns out and let me know what you think. So finding center here before I will be drilling a hole for the wood room screw and putting it on wood room screw on the four jaw chuck as per usual. And you can see on the corners there that I, uh, I cut some off um, to make it uh, turn a little bit faster, a little bit easier. So going slow at first, uh, I'm around 700 RPM here, and because it's not completely round, it's, you, you turn a lot of air when you first start, which is which is you have to do. So instead of taking big gouging cuts out of it, which would slow it down ultimately, and I'd probably get hurt doing it, uh, just taking light passes to, to make it uh, true and round. Using the Carter and Son bulk gouge here, there is a link to all the products I use in the video description if you're interested in checking them out. So almost completely round here, just about round. And then I will start to work on the bottom. So starting to work on the bottom of the bowl platter and uh, didn't have my tool rest completely tight so stop to fix that and still with the bowl gouge and making the, the bottom flat and starting also to round over the, the corner a bit. Using different techniques using a, a pull cut there and a push cut a minute ago and here's the diamond parting tools to, sh to start to make the foot of the mortise. Remove the tailstock at this point so I can make the, the mortise a little bit easier. Here I am with a skew chisel I've marked the area of the foot and now we're moving material so I can start the, the round over uh, the curve or the OG shape. Trying to get the shape finalized before turning it around in and holding it in the mortise and the four jaw chuck. A little bit of a different angle here. Sanding. Uh, don't show all the sanding, obviously, because it would take forever. Uh, a combination of hand sanding, power sanding with a lathe on and with a lathe off. And some denatured alcohol to clean the surface. I sanded from 80 all the way up to 400 grit. Then use the denatured alcohol. Let that completely evaporate and dry. And this is the sanding sealer. And after the sanding sealer dried, I'm using a Scotch-Brite pad here to denib the surface before starting with the uh, abrasive paste. This is Axe uh, wood turning paste. Uh, if you are interested in trying some, there is a code to get 10% off. If you go to axewoodpaste.com and use code PF10, you'll get 10% off your order. And your order would be the abrasive paste and the polishing paste. 
which come as a, as a pack package. Um, highly recommend it if you haven't tried it yet. If you do any type of woodwork, especially wood turning, uh, try it. You won't regret it. Starting with the polishing paste here. Axe is also very, very easy to use and quick. So having put on the polishing paste and making sure it was rubbed in very well and now buffing it in and off, bringing it to a nice smooth sheen. Flipped around in the four jaw chuck and carefully removing some material on the top flattening it out before starting to, to shape the, the rim. The intention of this bowl is more of a decorative kind of bowl. It's not meant to be utilitarian, not meant for salad or cereal or anything like that. I'm going to be using some resin around the rim. And the rim will really be the highlight. The rim will be larger than the opening in the bowl. using the skew chisel here to define where the, the inside of the bowl is going to be and the rim where that, that starts and ends. And some careful uh, shear scraping there to, I'm trying to make the rim as thin as possible, um, but also still have enough room for some uh, cuts that will hold the resin. You'll see as we go, it'll make more sense. So this is the diamond parting tool. I have two rings here and we'll be starting on the third. The third was kind of a delicate one because the rim does get thinner uh, the further out you go. But it worked out in the end. Just had to be very careful. Starting with the epoxy here. This is Total Boat Epoxy Medium Hardener. I do have links to it in the video description and also links to all the color pigments uh, that I use, which are black diamond mostly, I believe. I will link, link everything though so you can check it out if you want. So three different shades of blue. This one is more of a blue green. So I let this sit overnight. Uh, I think it probably sat about 18 hours or so, maybe 20 hours which it didn't need that long, it's just how it worked out for me. Using a negative rake on the easy wood um, tool here to clean the top of any uh, excess resin, which you can see there, there was some as it dried.
Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. And I would ask that if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. There is an icon in your lower right hand corner, which when you hover over it with your mouse, um, it should say subscribe. So if you haven't yet, please do a new video every week. And I got some, well, it, one or two comments over the last two or three videos that people commented about uh, ads in the video and that they unsubscribed because they didn't like them. Well, a little bit of explanation about the ads. First, I don't choose what ads are played and when. Um, people that make videos like this, especially on a consistent basis, do have ads. Um, and that's how we're able to keep making videos because uh, the more people that view the ads uh, we get paid a very, very small amount. Um, nothing to get rich over, that's for sure. But um, I monetize the videos because it helps me keep making more videos. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to, to do it. So sorry if you don't like the ads. You can always skip them if you don't like them. But... Um, obviously it helps me if you watch the video and watch the ads as well. So just wanted to explain that a little bit. And you're going to find ads on any video that, that puts out, any channel that puts out a video on any consistent basis. So here I'm using the Axe Abrasive Paste as we did on the outside of the bowl or the, the underside. Uh, same process. And the Polishing Paste. Buffing off the polishing paste, my favorite part. There are some still photos here in a moment or two. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, click that subscribe button. Click the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And until next week, peace out.